U.S. President Donald Trump has said he fired FBI Director James Comey because he was not doing a good job. He gave his first in-person explanation of the FBI chief's dismissal during a surprise meeting with Henry Kissinger. The president has said he fired Mr. Comey over his handling of the inquiry into Hillary Clinton's emails. But Mr. Comey reportedly asked for more money for his inquiry into Russia's alleged meddling in the U.S. election, according to U.S. media. Days before his removal, he made the request to Rod Rosenstein, the deputy attorney general who recommended Mr. Comey's dismissal to the president, according to leaks. Mr. Comey's dismissal has shocked Washington and outraged Democrats. The sacking raises profound questions about whether the White House is brazenly interfering in a criminal matter, said Adam Siff, who is the highest-ranked Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. But the president stood by his actions on Wednesday morning, hours before a meeting with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, his first with any Russian official since taking power. James Comey will be replaced by someone who will do a far better job, bringing back the spirit and prestige of the FBI, he said in early morning tweets. Comey lost the confidence of almost everyone in Washington, Republican and Democrat alike. When things calm down, they will be thanking me. He added. It is only the second time the head of the FBI has been fired. Russian President Vladimir Putin weighed in from a hockey rink in Sochi, saying, we have nothing to do with that. President Trump is acting in according with his competence and in accordance with his law and constitution, he told CBS. Meanwhile, Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said he will request to closed and if necessary, classified all senators' separate briefing from senior Justice Department officials. He also called for a special prosecutor to oversee the FBI investigation into any potential Russian ties to Mr. Trump's associates. But Vice President Mike Pence told reporters Mr. Trump demonstrated strong and decisive leadership in his decision and the move was based solely and exclusively on his commitment to the best interest of the American people. The president made the right decision at the right time, he said. Why was James Comey fired? President Trump wrote in a letter to Mr. Comey that he agreed with Attorney General Jeff Sessions' recommendation that you are not able to effectively lead the Bureau. Mr. Sessions said the Department of Justice was committed to a high level of discipline, integrity, and the rule of law, and a fresh start is needed. Many have expressed surprise that Mr. Comey should be fired for his handling of the investigation into Mrs. Clinton's emails. Given that Mr. Trump often praised the FBI director's conduct in the matter. But on Tuesday, Mr. Trump followed the recommendation of Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who wrote a letter saying he could not defend the director's handling of the investigation into Secretary Clinton. He added Mr. Comey had been wrong to usurp the previous Attorney General in July 2016 when he announced the Clinton emails inquiry should be closed without prosecution. Mr. Comey was addressing FBI agents in Los Angeles when, according to U.S. media, he learned he had just been fired when he saw the news on television. The 56-year-old, who was three and a half years into his 10-year term as FBI director, reportedly laughed thinking it was a prank. What about the Russia investigation? Democrats swiftly suggested that Mr. Trump had fired Mr. Comey to influence the FBI inquiry into whether members of the Trump election campaign colluded with the Kremlin. The House of Representatives and Senate Intelligence Committees are looking into the same allegations but no conclusions have yet been reached. Were these investigations getting too close to home for the president? Mr. Schumer asked a Tuesday evening press conference. This does not seem to be a coincidence, he added. Mr. Trump responded on Twitter that Mr. Schumer had recently expressed his lack of confidence in the FBI chief. President Trump has repeatedly insisted the Russia allegations are fake news. He and his Secretary of State Rex Tierson will meet Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Washington later on Wednesday. I am troubled by the timing and reasoning of Jim Comey's termination. Richard Burr, the head of the Senate Intelligence Committee. My staff and I are reviewing legislation to establish an independent commission on Russia. Justin Amash, 
a conservative Michigan congressman, adding that a line in Mr. Trump's letter, that Mr. Cummy had informed him three times he was not under investigation, was just bizarre. Nebraska Senator Ben Sass, a long-standing Trump critic, said the timing of the firing is very troubling. I've spent the last several hours trying to find an acceptable rationale for the timing of Cummy's firing, Senator Jeff Flake, Republican of Arizona, said on Twitter. I just can't do it. Donald Trump and senior Justice Department officials are framing the firing of James Cummy as a result of his botched investigation into Hillary Clinton's email server. They do so using language that even Clinton backers would probably support. Democrats, to put it bluntly, aren't buying it, however, not from this White House. They are dismissing this Clinton explanation as a smokescreen, and view the suddenness of the move as an attempt to subvert the ongoing FBI investigation into possible ties between Russia and the Trump campaign. At the very least, their calls for an independent investigation into the matter will become deafening, and some Republicans may now be inclined to agree. Mr. Cummy has been criticized by Democrats for the handling of his investigation into whether Mrs. Clinton's use of a private email server when Secretary of State compromised national security. The now former FBI director made two interventions during the 2016 election campaign to make pronouncements about the investigation. He said in July the case should be closed without prosecution, but then declared, 11 days before November's election, that he had reopened the inquiry because of the discovery of a new drove of Clinton-related emails. What was Clinton FBI probe about? He told the Senate last week it had made him mildly nauseous to think his intervention could have affected the election, but insisted he would make the same decision again. Mrs. Clinton lays part of the blame for her shock election defeat last November on Mr. Cummy. He told the Senate Judiciary Committee on 3 May that Mrs. Clinton's top aide, Huma Bedin, had forwarded hundreds and thousands of emails, some of which contained classified information, to her husband. But the FBI conceded on Tuesday that Emza Bedin had sent only two email chains containing classified information to her husband, Anthony Weiner. The printing. In June 1972, five men were arrested trying to bug the offices of the Democratic National Committee, DNC, at the Watergate office and hotel complex in Washington. The break in was traced to President Richard Nixon's supporters. The firing of James Cummy is drawing comparisons with the so called Saturday Night Massacre of 1973 when Mr. Nixon fired an independent special prosecutor investigating the break-in and the subsequent cover-up. Not since Watergate has a president dismissed the person leading an investigation bearing on him, the New York Times wrote late on Tuesday. Mr. Nixon later admitted he had been aware of the cover-up and had tried to halt the FBI's inquiry. He later became the only U.S. president to resign. President Donald Trump said Wednesday he fired FBI Director James Cummy because he wasn't doing a good job, his first in-person comments on the matter since his decision shook Washington Tuesday night. The president made the remark while speaking to pool reporters in the Oval Office. He was meeting with former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger after having met earlier in the day with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and Russian Ambassador to the US Sergei Kislyak. Asked if Cummy's firing affected the meeting with the Russians, Trump replied, not at all. Kislyak has been a central figure in the controversy over Trump's campaign ties to Russia as then National Security Advisor Michael Flynn was fired after it emerged that he had misrepresented conversations with Kislyak to others in the White House. Trump also spoke about Syria during his Oval Office comments, We're talking about Syria and I think we're going to do very well with respect to Syria. I think things are happening that are really, really, really positive. We're going to stop the killing and the death. Shortly before Trump's comments became public, Vice President Mike Pence praised the Cummy firing on Capitol Hill, telling reporters it was the right move at the right time and reiterating the administration's position that there is no evidence of collusion between our campaign and any Russian officials. Trump also tweeted several times about the Cummy firing Wednesday morning, 
saying the move will be seen in a better light after the furious controversy dies down. At one point in a series of tweets, Trump said his dismissal of Cummy, who came under withering criticism from both Democrats and Republicans for his handling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation, would be validated after things calm down. Cummy lost the confidence of almost everyone in Washington, Republican and Democrat alike. When things calm down, they will be thanking me. Trump tweeted. He led off the tweet storm with criticism of Democrats, who have loudly called for a special prosecutor to look into alleged ties between his campaign and Russia. Democrats, and some Republicans, were quick on Tuesday to claim that Trump was ridding himself of an investigator who was delving too deeply into ties between his associates and Russia. The Democrats have said some of the worst things about James Cummy, including the fact that he should be fired. But now they play so sad. Trump wrote. Senior White House officials appear to have badly misjudged the impact of Trump's sudden move. A source with knowledge of discussions inside the White House told CNN's Dana Bash that the thinking was that because Democrats were saying precisely what Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein said in a letter explaining the grounds for Cummings' dismissal, there would be no backlash. What was not thought through? apparently, was an explanation of why Kami was fired now, at a time when critics would immediately conclude it was because of the Russia probe.